Well, Coach, thanks for stopping by here. You're fresh off the trip out to Eugene. How was that uh, last week for you? Well, it was a mix. You know, we, we hoped to do a little better, but uh, some things went well, but some we came close again. This was a year of closes, I think, with at regionals, we had a lot of people close to getting to nationals, and then we had a few that were just outside of being second team All American. Uh, Marcus put together a really good decathlon and made first team All American, which was almost more than, you know, I was hoping for that, but that was pretty ambitious hopes. And not only did he do well, but a couple people faltered like it often happens in decathlon and ended up seventh, so that was great. Next to winning a national championship, would you say getting to the nationals is a dream come true for a lot of track and field athletes? Well, it is, but we don't really want that. You know, there's there's two goals once you go to nationals. One is to score, yeah. top eight score, and they become the the first team All Americans. Everybody likes that. And then the next eight are second team All American, which is kind of like consolation prize. But then. If you're to nationals and you finish between 17 and 24, it's kind of disappointing. And uh, and we had four people down there, uh, one 17th, and and we had a lot of 13 set regionals. And so I think it's very motivational when you're close like that. If you're coming back the next year, you're thinking, okay, I don't want to let that happen again. The five you took out uh, to Eugene, Oregon, uh, have you had a chance to meet with them one on one after their performances out there to kind of say, hey, that. Thank you for what you've done for Liberty, or is that even something you, you need to do or feel like you have to do? Yeah, well, we – coming back is when we had a lot of time, but then things got – we all ended up on different flights sort of, and uh, uh, a group of them really got back late. They were delayed uh, six hours. I think they got back here at 4.30 in the morning or something like that. So that was pretty tough. But uh, now we kind of have – those that return we have all year – uh, you know, to all summer to get refocused and and set some high goals for next year. And but you know, it's it's when you're disappointed, you just have to let time deal with it. And uh, you know, I think everybody took it pretty well, but a lot of people would have liked to have done better out there. But that's not only true with us. I mean, we saw all kinds of uh, disappointment taking place. There were there were people number one in the nation that didn't even get there. A, a couple of them. So. Uh, that's the way it is in track and field. You get one shot. Now you're heading to the A Sun. I haven't talked to you since uh, the the A Sun and Liberty made the pact to, to join forces with each other. Uh, your your thoughts on that and kind of the the legacy that you and this program has left in the Big South. Uh, a lot of emotions there, I'm sure. Yeah, well, we we do have a lot of friends in the Big South, and we've had a lot of great memories. But you know, they can't take the memories away. Yeah unless you get uh, Alzheimer's or something, I guess. Uh, I might be close to that. I'm not sure. But uh, we have a lot of things to remember, and uh, it's it's been fun. And, you know, hopefully for athletics, the move will be a, a positive thing. Uh, in track and field, it's kind of a lateral move probably. Uh, but I think there's going to be more competition on the women's side in track and field. And cross country should be uh, – competitive too so it'll be interesting we don't know as much about them but uh we do kind of come in as the you know, i don't want to say the giant but the one that people are like oh this is going to change things sure. you know, we're definitely a game changer for the a sun so uh we'll try to make the best out of it and try to pursue some more titles and start over with uh winning things you know Final thought here, Brant was talking to uh, Paul Carmony, your, your PR director for your track teams, and he was telling me you're going to head down to Brazil to coach some this summer. Tell me about that. What, what are you going to be doing? Well, actually, there's a lot going on this summer still. We have junior nationals that we have, uh, Noel, Noel Palmer and, uh, uh, let's see, uh, 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 Chelsea, Chelsea uh, Igorelsi go into, and that, that's this this week and then next week we have USA Nationals that Marcus is going to do the decathlon and quite possibly Daryl Jones and and maybe Brenna Smith and maybe Dossie Larson will get in so we still have that and Good. then in July uh, yeah we are going down to Brazil to compete in the first America Games which is like a World University Games Pan Am Games right. so it's all America championship for collegiate athletes and uh, we've been asked to be the 
head coach and, and event coaches. So th three of my staff, uh, Clendon and uh, Pete and Vinny, are all going along. And uh, and that's a week. And we're also going to do some mission work while we're down there. So that's, that's pretty exciting. Uh, so it's going to be a busy summer, uh, without a doubt. And it's not, I'm not thinking that much about next year yet because there's too much going on in the present to think too much about the future. Got to get some R&R &R at some point, Coach. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, the older you get, the more you realize that. And it's, uh, I'm sprinting not to go off the back of the treadmill yet, but at some point I got to get a few days away with the wife. And we are taking a week of vacation, but I need more than that. Yeah, I know, but you love to coach, and that's what we love about you, Brent. We appreciate the time, and uh, we'll catch up with you soon, okay? Thank you. Appreciate it.